Here's a little sneak peek of my wall. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know you're not seeing me currently, you're not seeing my face, but I have this video for you guys that a lot of you have been requesting and this is probably the most requested video on both of my beauty channels this one and my Spanish channel so I decided to finally do it for you guys because I do want to revamp everything and I want to change it up but I want to show you guys my current setup which is probably going to stay like this for a couple more months before I revamp it and this is just very simple this is what works for me this is very practical for me all right, so right on top on this side, I have all my makeup brushes, and then I have them in clear containers. They're different containers, but for the most part, this is the only one that's plastic. All the other ones are um, glass, and then I just have black sand in them, and it's super sparkly. I really like it. You can see right there, and those are big brushes. The only one that doesn't have sand is this one right here, and that's because they're the Real Techniques brushes, and they're like rubber at the bottom, so I didn't want the sand to stick to them, and every time I pull them out, it makes a mess. So I just didn't put any sand in there. So these are like eye brushes, eye brushes, face brushes, face brushes, and face brushes. But right here, in this little organizer, I have the foundations I'm currently using, my primer, like, and my powder at the back and then I have my lash glue, my favorite lash glue and right here I just have glitters that I like to keep up front because I feel like it just makes it look cute. Now moving on I have this mirror right here and it's double sided and then it has a light and that's what I use in my videos and when I get ready and stuff like that. Now next to it, I think this is like um, office stationery the little this little thing and I just keep like a lot of small brushes again a lot of my real techniques brushes that have rubber at the bottom and I didn't want to put sand in them so I just keep them in here because I use a lot of tiny brushes a lot and then my eyebrow brushes and concealer that I use like every day always have to have a hand sanitizer these are my brow products right here and then I just have some scrunchies right here because you know they always get lost, so I just like to keep them a little bit closer to me. Now this part right here, um, on top is a little eyelash storage type of thing, and that's where I actually store my lashes that I'm using. And then this is a little um, old MAC packaging, I think it was like for glitters. And I just like to keep it up there because I have some receipts and a little remote um, for my phone in there. And then right next to it, there's a little cute elephant, and that was actually a birthday gift. And they say those are like good luck, so I like to keep it on here. This box is from a, a old collection, and I keep my used products in here for when I do my videos, my video of used products. And then this little lash tray right here, which is super cute, I like to keep stuff I'm currently working on for a video. I'm trying out to see if I like it, and it, you know, it changes all the time. And I also like to use this, keep the sponge I'm using at the moment right there so it can dry and it won't get like nasty so in here I have all my glitters like my Stila glitters the glitter eyeshadows the Colourpop ones some Urban Decay glitters and then this is just some extra lip gloss from Anastasia and then down here I mean up here <laughs> wow direction much up here I have all my mini Stila liquid lipsticks which are my favorite you can see it's double road and then I have Colourpop one and then some mini ones Makeup Forever and Tarte and like I told you guys these are my favorite liquid lipsticks which is why I like to buy the minis so I can try out a lot of their different colors starting off with the last drawer I like to keep all my makeup bags extra little makeup stuff for sure my Neutrogena towelettes I always have an extra box of this on hand um, this is just extra I think it's like extra samples then more little like lip cases oh my gosh guys I've been searching and hunting for this lip gloss it's like my favorite gloss and I can't believe I just found it wow 
Well, this video is good for something. Anyways, so I just have any makeup bags. These, are, Some of these are from Ipsy. Um, when I used to get Ipsy, I canceled it. But yeah, this is basically what's in my last drawer. Moving on to this drawer. Now, this drawer is a bit of kind of mishmash, I would say. It has a lot of uh, extra boxes that I... Let me move this. It has a lot of extra boxes from current makeup products and I keep the extra boxes in case I don't like the products and I have to return them. This is just a little Neutrogena case but it has um, just samples that I get from Sephora when I place orders. This little rag, I always keep it in here because when I'm doing my makeup, I like to take it out and put it under my mirror just so there won't be any like powder fallout on my desk. Um, always have wipes and then more little extra boxes of stuff that I need to try and I also put a lot of new stuff in here um, when I'm buying it so I can remember that I need to talk about it in a video or I need to do a review. Now this third drawer I have my lipsticks and sponges. So this lipstick thing is from an old Mary Kay like travel bag that my mom used to have and I just kept it ever since she gave it to me. I kept it and I took it out of the travel bag and I decided to put it in here just because it serves a better purpose for me. Now these are all, majority of these are liquid lipsticks. I would say just this row right here is regular lipsticks. And those are just lipsticks that I just haven't let go of. But all of this is liquid lipsticks and clearly you can tell I'm a liquid lipstick type of girl. Now this little tray right here, I just have it um, for sponges. And this is what it looks like. These are dirty and those are clean, which means I have to wash those. And then I have another makeup rag. These are like my little makeup. It's clean, but it's stained now for all the, from all the makeup. And this is just another box of new sponges. Now this second drawer, I keep eyeliners, um, mascaras in here. I li really only use this mascara and the rest. I probably have to throw it out, but like I said, I'm going to do like a declutter. Now, the rest of these things are all eyeliners, colored liners, some brow products and stuff like that. Now, here in this middle section, these are all my ColourPop Super Shock shadows, and I just like to keep them in the same spot. These are all glitters, like loose glitters. These are some uh, extra single eyeshadows. This, more eyeshadows and more glitter right here. I just have some sample products, um, small size products from like Ipsy and stuff like that. These are all my tools, tweezers, scissors, um, little lash applicators. And then right here I have more glue and glitter glue, primer, and then a crazy glue. And then now this first drawer, which is probably one of my favorite drawers, is all highlighters and blushes and bronzers. This middle row right here is blushes and bronzers. Now all of this is highlighters, all of this is highlighters, and then that's the Physicians Formula uh, bronzer, highlighter, blush palette. But yeah, this is where I keep all this stuff. I do have um, highlight palettes, but those are a little bit bigger and it's in the palette drawers, which we will see in a bit. But yeah, this is one of my favorite drawers, and I thought of organizing it a different way, but for the most part, this is what works, especially when I'm sitting down doing my makeup. It's just easy to reach, and I know where everything is at, so that's why I keep it like this. And this drawer, I actually do have it lined with um, like a gold glitter paper liner kind of thing. Now, this is kind of an embarrassing drawer. It's not like that drawer that everyone has in their house that has like just a bunch of mishmash things. I know everything that's in here and everything that's in here has a place for my YouTube channel kind of deal. It has the little clamps for my backdrops. It has a microphone, um, cables for cameras, for the my lighting, for my... Uh, ring light. It has this, these diffusers, another camera, camera case, um, more little SD cards somewhere in there, um, USB drives, and then it has more light bulbs for my 
soft boxes. So basically that's what this drawer holds. Now this drawer is a bit of just, I would say simple. <laughs> um, I basically have my lashes in here and I have a few products like right there. Um, it's products that I don't know if I'm going to get rid of, if I'm going to keep using or what. I just keep them there because I know that's where they are. And then the rest is just lashes. Back there I have a little stand to dry my brushes. And that's basically what this drawer holds. Out of all my drawers, this is probably my heaviest drawer. And this houses literally all my palettes. Um, I know I have a lot and I have a problem. Let me move these out of the way for now. So you can see there's more palettes back there, back in the corner. All of these are palettes. I like to keep them this way because I feel like I fit a lot more palettes in here and they are a lot more visible. They're a lot easier to use and to use a lot of them to, you know, switch them out to rotate them it's just much easier this way than that way because that way I forget about palettes that are at the very bottom and I stop using them this way I use them a lot I do want to buy something different for my palettes to like place them on my tabletop area so that I just use more of them especially like those big ones that are back there now this drawer is another of my favorites uh it's basically all skincare all all skincare masks some hydrating creams uh face creams moisturizers lip scrubs lip creams cleansers just all of that stuff and also keep my um Neutrogena makeup wipe pack that I'm currently using in here, but you can see these are all masks face masks sheet masks All masks and then these are like tube masks all of these are masks um, All this is all this is just mishmash of different masks a lot of them They're either samples from Sephora or when I used to have ipsy now this last drawer is all foundation, concealer, and primers. Um, this is all my overflow of foundations right here. And these are some like foundation samples, concealers, primers underneath. I just have like sample primers and stuff like that. Setting sprays and then these foundations that I still haven't done a video on because they're just they're kind of weird <laughs> and this drawer is also lined with like gold sparkly liner paper whatever so the two top drawers are lined and I just thought that was super cute and that's what that looks like basically there's um, no other way to explain this drawer other than just concealers and foundations and I keep this at the top because also I use um, a lot of this stuff like on a daily basis if I don't use a foundation from up there I usually choose one from in here and these are all foundations that are my shades these are all foundations that I use um, this one's almost out this is a new one I didn't really like and just stuff like that if I stop liking a certain product I will move it to that fourth drawer that I showed you guys and I'll go through it every day see if I want to try product out again and give it another chance and if not I just end up giving it away or just not using it anymore that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's not your typical makeup collection but it's what works for me and it's how I like to have mine and what I currently have so yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't also turn on the post notification bell so youtube can notify you every time i upload a video if you would like to know that and with that being said thank you guys so much for watching for all your support and i will see you all in my next video bye